Hi guys, it's me Malcolm, the movie Wizard of Oz himself. So, you may have noticed that I did my review on No Time to Die. And since I absolutely love Daniel Craig's movies and the new one, I've decided decided to rank all of the all of his movies from least good from to the best. And before I get started, I want to give a shout out to two of my good friends, Eddie Briggs and Ty Jensen. A hero can save us. I'm not gonna stand here away. Who just discussed about their ranking video of about their ranking for the da Daniel Craig's movies, so this is for you guys. So, let's get started, shall we? For this, to start off, I do believe Quantum of Solace was the, was the least favorite of mine. I mean, that movie was good, but not that much. I've been everywhere, man, looking for someone, someone who can please me. Well, even though it did, did pay a tribute to, to a death scene, scene from Goldfinger, how, how one of the Bond girls died, died on the bed, while covered in gold, while, while in that movie, while in this movie, she's covered in oil. <laughs> It was a callback for it, and I do believe the villain, uh, Mr. Green, was not that, was least of my favorites. He was the weakest link, you know? He wasn't that much, much of a villain anyway. Then there's Spectre. If I risk it all. I th I absolutely love it, love it. I absolutely love the theme song that Sam Smith ever did. It was definitely one of my favorites, favorites right now. Uh, but it really didn't bring up the pieces together for all that movie. I was shocked how we get, how this movie was in introduced to the secret organization that's like a, that's like Hydra to MI6's SHIELD. <laughs> know what I mean? And I really do admire, admire Madeline Swong, how sh she was smart, smart and very, uh, and s such an awesome love interest, interest to James. And I really did admire the appearance of Dave Batista as Mr. Hinks. I gotta say, say the way how he made an entrance, entrance in the secret, in the secret meaning of Spectre, oh, he leave, he really leave me breathless. Then there's Skyfall. Oh. Let the sky fall and cry. Yes. Skyfall was one of the best movies I ever saw. I mean, Adele played her awesome song to a T. It really deserved an Oscar. And I really, and I really do love the, love the villain, love the villain played by Javier Bardem. He really, he, he was so, unique to play a Bond villain ever. Hands down. Down though. I really, I really do love the intro of, of Naomi Harris as Money Penny. Oh my god. It's amazing. And I was shocked about the, about the sad death scene of M played by Judy Dench. I must say, this this movie did not fail. 
Then there's the new, the recent new one, No Time to Die. There's just no time to die. I absolutely love it. It was a great, great movie to end and Daniel Craig's franchise to the Bond movies. But it did give a shocking yet bittersweet ending, which death, which kind of reminds me of a throwback to, to Captain America, the first Avenger. But, mm -mm, no spoilers. I'm not gonna tell you anymore. Yeah. I, it has some shocking scenes in it. I absolutely love Rami Malek as as the villain in this movie. It was crazy. And I really did love the badass badass of of Ana de Armas. Armas, the same actress who was in Knives Out with Daniel Craig. He was awesome. She was beautiful yet so badass. I love her. I just love her. I wish we could see more of her in the future if they do make spin-offs of, of the franchise. But nothing compares to my number one pick, Casino Royale. Yeah. Yes, I love Casino Royale. Uh, I even love the Bond girl, a Ava Green, Green, who plays Vespa Lynn. Oh, she was stunning. Funny. <laughs> Funny. I I mean she she and James, man, absolute couple couple until that all changed when she kinda betrayed betrayed him and <sighs> well, you know the rest. I really did love Matt Mickelson as the villain as well in this movie. He was awesome. It was absolutely crazy though I really did love love the love the love the final action scene where it took place in Italy that was breathtaking yet mind blown okay you guys that's how I rank all of Daniel Craig's James Bond movies I gotta say I can't believe I almost miss miss out of watching No Time to Die. I mean, there was a 50-50 chance that I could not see it. Okay. Okay, guys, I guess that's it. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure you all stay safe, stay healthy, and... Oh yeah, enjoy No Time to Die in the big screen. Peace.